In order to understand how plants and animals adapt to their environment over time, I want to look at a little example. And in my example, uh, we start off on a little island. This is an island right here. And on that island, there's a blue bird. Here's a blue bird I'm going to draw here. And the blue bird, he's just like any other bird. He's got bird wings, and he's got a bird beak and a bird head and some eyes. And he lives just, just fine on his island. He can eat nectar in the, in the plants and survive just fine. But all of a sudden, a tropical storm comes along, and it blows all of these birds from one island in, in a chain of islands to the next island. And so, all of a sudden, we have a bunch of birds that are really used to one island living in a new environment. And let's say on our new island here, uh, our birds, rather than eating nectar from plants, our birds are eating a lot more nuts. And so all of the birds that had really small beaks couldn't handle it, and they weren't able to eat nuts very well. And so those birds died out. And the only birds that survived, sadly, are the birds that have pretty big, robust, wide beaks. So here's, uh, here's the birds that survived. They had big, wide beaks. Remember, we're still talking about the same blue bird species here, but the, the birds that had the biggest beaks, they survived. And over time, uh, all of the birds have these big beaks. A, an adaptation that occurs that you can see, see, and you can see it just with your eye, is called a macroscopic adaptation macroscopic. And so the next bit of this story is that a tropical storm, once again, sadly, carried this group of big-beaked birds to yet another island. And the thing that's different about this island is this island has a jet stream in the ocean that goes right across the island and so this island is very windy and so the blue birds that were carried here to this new island that have big beaks uh those those survive but um the th the the birds that don't have a microscopic structure in their wings called barbules which make it so wings are able to carry more current, and it would make these birds a lot more stable in the wind. The birds that don't have that, they, they, they die out. And so the birds that do have barbules and the big beak, they survive. And when something you can't see, sorry, excuse me. So the barbules here, we actually can't see those. They exist, but we can't see them with our eyes. And so something we can't see, an adaptation that we can't see, is called a microscopic, microscopic adaptation. Maybe I'll write that in white here. Microscopic. Microscopic adaptation. And so that is how plants and animals can get adaptations over time. And that's what macroscopic and microscopic adaptations are.